Hello, why does Hollywood suck so hard now? When you look at the movies they have right now in the Hollywood box offices, you very seldomly get excited. People do not get excited for Hollywood movies anymore. I was looking, there's 10 movies playing out, out now. Each one complete and utter trash, except for one. There was a movie called Tag, which is a comedy, and it's the only, it's the, it was the first time I got excited to go to a movie in five years. The movie was three grown men who have a legal binding agreement where they play tag as adult, as adult men for the entire month of February. It's a tradition they have to keep their friendship. And it, I think that that sounds a fun story. That's a fun and very cute story that's actually kind of warming and refreshing, and, it's, and it sounds funny as hell. That's why I wanted to see it, but besides that, besides that movie, which I would see because it's funny and cute, every other movie is complete garbage. I don't know where it, I don't know how it got like this. I remember 30 years ago, back in the 70s and 80s, we had good movies. Each movie was a gem and a classic, and it was socially relevant, and there was commentary, and there was real issues explored. I don't know, I don't want to watch Jason Bateman and Jennifer Aniston go to divorce court anymore. It's just garbage now. Movies today are either so ridiculous and drawn out and drab that no one wants to see them because they're compl they're lame. They're either too lame or they're too batshit off the wall insane. And they're the, cra they're the crazy ones where your suspension of belief just can't handle it anymore. Like Gavin McKinney's, Gavin McKinney's, the Gavin McKinney's show, CRTV, Rebel Media... Remember his famous quote when he was talking about, I don't think I can watch Angelina Jolie beat up six Navy SEALs anymore. My suspension of belief just can't take anymore. The suspension of belief, which is with a thing that you watch movies and it's like, okay, I'm enjoying the ride. This, this is just bullshit. It couldn't happen in a million years, but... <laughs> well, that's gone now. We we can't watch those movies anymore. Our suspensions of beliefs are all worked up. They blow, we're going to blow a gasket if we have to watch these bad shit movies anymore. Hollywood is lame, and Hollywood is complete garbage now. It's not just the fact that the movies are lame. It's because they promote lifestyles and choices that are just disgusting. I remember myself, the last time I was at a Hollywood movie was, I went to see Red Sparrow. I'm a huge fan of the spy movies. Red Sparrow was the worst movie I ever saw. It sucked. You know, you know what sucked about Red Sparrow was Jennifer Lawrence was naked, and ordinarily people being naked, and especially a person like Jennifer Lawrence who's disgusting and filthy and obnoxious and a liberal lunatic, but she's beautiful and physically. But you, you think that seeing a beautiful woman on a television screen wouldn't be a big wouldn't be a big deal for me? It wouldn't make me upset. Well, I got very upset because the movie was garbage, and this woman exposing herself was the only way anyone was gonna go see it. Mark Dice, Mark, I was watching a Mark Dice video, he made that prediction, he said that the only way they're going to see a movie that looks this shitty, in the trailer, believe me, it was shitty, it was the lowest common denominator, just hastily slapped together shitty, he said that Jennifer Lawrence exposing herself was the only way people go see it, he was a scary, accurate, right, right, the movie was full of naked scenes and pornography, but what else can you expect from Hollywood? This is Jacob Abul. If you like the video, subscribe. I'll be doing more videos. You can give me suggestions for videos you want to see, and I'll keep doing them. Goodbye.